The Janssen's is an extremely rare, debilitating, progressive skeletal disease. It really only affects 30 people worldwide, and there's, gonna, there's a reason why we got these on. Well, just because I'm a superhero is you basically are. why. But despite the rarity of the condition, five of these cases live in America, with three of them living right here in Elkhorn. And here to tell us more about the disease and ways to help raise awareness are Nina Nazar and her sons Arshan and Jahan Adam, along with Megan Razor. Thanks for hey, stopping wave. in, everybody. Hi. Hey, everybody. And they got their masks on. They got the superhero masks, right? Yep. You got your masks on? Yeah. Well, now he took it off so he could see how good he looks. Like, ah, <laughs> I can see how good I look. Uh, can we talk about Janssen's? What, I don't know who wants to take this question, yeah. but uh, Janssen's disease, what mm -hmm. is it? So Janssen's disease is a very rare, as you had already mentioned, it's a very progressive disease. It is a skeletal disorder. It affects their body's ability to make new bone. And so as a result, the bones stay bent and needs a lot of corrective surgery to be able to function. Now, your sons are nine and six, yes. correct? Yes. <laughs> oh, look at them. <laughs> Just like any other nine and six oh, year olds. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they are. They're full of fun. They're, you know, they're absolutely fun loving. They do everything that other kids do, but of course, in their own special way. You yeah. have Janssen's. Mm -hmm. You have Janssen's. I lived with Janssen's for 32 years. Uh, didn't have a diagnosis until I had my second <laughs> fellow. And uh, because of the rarity of the condition... Oh, so you didn't even know until then? No, yeah, I didn't until yeah. I had my second son. And because mm -hmm. it's so rare, it uh, gets misdiagnosed very easily. And that's one of the reasons we set up the foundation, just to create a better awareness of the condition. Because many times it's mistaken for rickets or mm -hmm. uh, other, you know, other skeletal disorders. And so we're, we're pretty sure there are others out there misdiagnosed or just not yet diagnosed. Mm -hmm. And that's why we set up the foundation. Now, what? in a world of seven billion people there's only 30 people in the world yes with this and I want to dive a little bit deeper if you don't mind tell us uh, the complications of living with the disorder well I think Ashan is very good with uh, Ashan how difficult has it been for, for you well it's been really hard and you can't normally do the things that others do, like other kids do, like run very long distances, climb up monkey bars, and then jump off and land mm -hmm. on your feet. Mm -hmm. And that's you can't. Well, maybe that's walk for the better because you'll slide. never hurt, get hurt then. <laughs> you right. can't walk up the slides or anything like that. What is it? You get can't bigger jump. And smaller? <laughs> you can't. Um, What's it called? Oh, what about all the surgeries that you've been having? Those surgeries really stink. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's they a hard. Stink. Well, they have other. They have more surgeries lined up for October. Uh -huh. uh, it does take away from your school year. It takes away from you know the recovery, getting back to your feet. You're all the time. <laughs> you guys are the cutest they, ever. <laughs> you are really. They really do. There, there are a lot of challenges with this disease, yes, but they absolutely. do take it in stride. Oh, the, yeah, they're, they're heroes, really. Yeah. They because uh, they've been, you know, they've just got a great attitude about the whole disease <laughs> and how to live their life to the fullest. Well, yeah, they're taking it <laughs> they're down. They're combating the disease. this well, disease. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> um, Tell us about the upcoming, <laughs> they're you know, they're still boxing. <laughs> we, are. We, want to <laughs> we want to support this walk, of course. So tell us about the upcoming Hero for Janssen's Walkathon. Explain that a little more. Well, we're very excited to do it. It is our first event um, hosted by the foundation. It's this Saturday at Lake Zerinsky, um, and it's called the Hero for Janssen's, as you said. It's going to be a lot of fun. We have some activities planned, face painting, a photo booth. Mm -hmm. We'll have a pancake breakfast, and the proceeds will uh, benefit the Janssen's Foundation as well. Um, and we've got some giveaways for every registration. You're entered in drawings. A lot of businesses have been generous in donating. Uh, if you want to go skydiving, pictures. Nebraska skydivers have gone and donated a certificate. Um, the Henry Dorley These Zoo, we have passes Kansas for that, the Cheesecake awesome, Factory. Yeah. So lots of businesses have, have supported that. Um, something that's a little unusual, we're having Hetra there, which is the mm -hmm. Heartland Equestrian Therapeutic Riding Academy, and they'll be bringing a miniature pony. So who love doesn't it. love ponies? Uh, and we're also offering, if you are a physical therapist or you know anyone, uh, we're offering free continuing education at the end of the walk. Uh, one other thing that's good to note is the three mile course is totally wheelchair accessible. Okay. So yeah. all are welcome. Uh, so it's going to be a really fun family event. Putting on a, an event like this and trying to raise awareness, it's got to be hard with so mm -hmm. few people living with mm -hmm. this disease. I mean, there's other diseases out there, whether it's cancer, there's so many people affected by it. It's easier to get people to come together for this. Um, what's it like trying to raise awareness for something like this? 
That is a challenge. And right. Uh, so one of the reasons, as I said, is to create awareness, but the other is also education. So even though ours is a very rare disease, there are many crossover diseases that our research can actually help. So we're driving research. We have an experimental treatment in the works at Boston Mass General mm -hmm. and at Harvard Medical School. And so we're hoping that if we can drive research, re drive funding, and uh, it, it could definitely be possible to have a crossover um, cure for many of the other more common skeletal conditions like osteoporosis, mm -hmm. osteoarthritis. Now boys, can you tell us why should we come out to the walkathon this weekend? Because there are only, yeah. there are only uh, 30 people worldwide with this condition mm -hmm. and five of them in, um, America. in America and we're all going to the walkathon. Yeah. yeah. So we're all three five in Omaha. There. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. Right. So, it is. So for the first time, all five in America are getting together. Oh, and, wow. and they all have incredible stories. If you vis visit our website, you can read their stories as well. Here we're up for Janssen's. It's a walkathon Saturday. Uh, uh, registration starts at 9 o'clock. Really, for more information, just go to the I Janssen's Foundation. Dot org. Uh, the costs are right there. It's at Legs Zarinsky. Yes. Uh, guys, thanks you for coming. You guys are amazing. This Gents, is our cutest fellas, interview yet. Fellas, you get any, anything, any fun thing final you want to say? One, one last Thank comment. Mm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they're just, hmm. they're just staring at the camera. Hero up for Janssen. Hero up for Janssen. <laughs> guys, thanks for coming in. Thank and good you. luck nice with job. the walk. Yeah. <laughs> and keep, us, keep us updated. Oh yeah, we okay? definitely will. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. All right, ladies.